Son, I knew him well, he said to me, taking my hand and holding it hard in the same way they used to be. Yeah, good man, I've got to say it. They don't make them quite like that anymore. Just an ordinary bloke, a mate. Just an ordinary bloke. Strange words, that is, especially from an old friend like him. But ordinary was what he chose. Now, it's got me thinking back, you know, to the good old days when we were friends and you saw shapes in the fire's glow, sucking on your wood briar and dreaming in your favourite low slung green chair. She, mad at your lack of scheming. How I loved you then. Lace up black shoes, had treasured grey cardigan, tuning in nights for the weather, sport and news. In your own quiet way, you walk tall, with a sort of proud calm about you. What was right was right. That was all. <laughs> I was thinking too of the time we drove the old Ford 8 down country, brolly up inside to keep dry. Fishing? You and me on holiday? At the post office batch we rented? through golden summers at the bay. Memories. Mm. Bub. That's what you call me. We whistle. Yours much better than mine. Sweet, soft tone. Mine harsh, off-key. <laughs> Still is. Hey, just thought of the cat's names. Old Pete and Russell who followed you like dogs. One sweet whistle, they came. Just an ordinary bloke. Well, maybe. But as ordinary blokes go, you know, Dad, you'll always be extraordinary for me. <laughs>